Hi, I'm Tracy, a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. I came to celebrate recovery with addictions to methamphetamine, being a, a sexual abuser, and working on many other things in my life. Hi, Trace. Hi. And I'm Cheryl, a grateful believer in Jesus, and I um, came to celebrate recovery with a broken heart, and now I'm struggling with codependency and food issues. Hi, my name's Cindy, and I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. I came to celebrate recovery to work on the traumas of physical, sexual, and emotional abuse, and food abuse. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> we wanted to make another video to encourage everybody in Celebrate Recovery and anybody watching during this time where uh, things are a little crazy. We, Cheryl and I, we uh, are involved in worship at Christ Community Church Celebrate Recovery in Carmichael. So we want to take this opportunity with a little song and some word to uh, put that encouragement out there. And I don't want anyone to take this that, that we're breaking any rules. We are holding all the guidelines. Cheryl and I were tested earlier today. Cheryl passed. I had a hard time with the geometry. I did get a C plus, so that is a passing. But, but in all honesty, we are taking this seriously. I uh, Lysoled myself before I came here. I washed my hands and sanitizer, and I ate a whole clove of garlic so that we could maintain social distancing at six feet. Yep, they're good. <laughs> but in all seriousness of what's going on, we want you to be safe, we want you to be encouraged, and we want you to be held up in the truth of who God is. And uh, as being parts of worship team, we'd like to do that with the song, Holy Water. God's forgiveness is everything, and if we remember that, we can take just about anything that happens in this world. Got him on my knees again. Got him begging, please again. I need you. Oh, I need you. Walking down these desert roads, water for my thirsty soul, I need you, oh I need you, your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips, like a sound of symphony to my ears. Like holy water on my skin. Dead man walking, slave to sin. I want to know about being born again. I need you. Oh God, I need you. So take. I don't want to abuse your grace. God, I need it every day. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. I don't want to abuse your grace. God, I need it every day. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. And I don't want to abuse your grace. God, I need it every day. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Like the sound of symphony to my ears. 
It's like holy water on my skin. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Like the sound of a symphony to my ears. It's like holy water on my skin. It's like holy water on my skin. The sweet mercy of God is like holy water on our skin. And the word of God is where all hope comes from. So in this time of trouble, I encourage you all to turn to the word. One of my favorite psalms is Psalm 91. Sorry, Lord is my shepherd, but this is my favorite psalm. And Cindy's going to read it for you. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord... He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the pharaoh's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come over you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves, says the Lord, I rescue them, I will protect them, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. For the long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, and I encourage all of you, please go and, and read it. Read it in its entirety and read it slowly. And if you'll notice at the beginning, the psalmist is talking to those who are believers. And the last three verses, God, it's in quotation, God starts speaking to us. And the Lord says, because you know my name, I will care for you. I will take care of you. I will lift you up, and I will honor you. Imagine God saying that to you as a believer, that he will honor you. Put you in a place where sometimes in Celebrate Recovery, we don't feel like we're honorable. We have the thoughts going in our mind. And at this time, at this time where we're um, separated or isolated at times, it can feel like those things are talking in our head again. The truth is God's word, and we want you to be encouraged to go into God's word, to read it for yourself, to pray and talk to him. How awesome is it that the creator of all the world would look at you and honor you just because you know his name. So if that's true, then everything else in your life he has in his hands and he wants to help you through it. There's others around that would love to help you also. So pick up your phone, reach out and call someone. Hey, you sponsors, call your sponsees, right? Everyone should be calling everyone. We have a lot of time in this time. We want to stay safe. We want to keep that distancing. But we want you to know most of all that we love you, that you're not alone in this, and we will gather together one day, and we will rejoice. And the party will be so loud that God will open up the gates of heaven and the heavenly host will look down and go, wow, that's what worship's all about. Amen? Amen. That's what we're going to do and we're going to do it together. Hang in there. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters. I love you. Love you. This love is you. Tracy. I'm Cheryl. Cindy. Cindy's in the background. 
we're available for you. If you want to contact me or you have any ideas, uh, write to Gmail. It's 15 to faith at gmail.com. 152 faith gmail.com. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's something that we could say or speak on behalf of everyone else or yourself to encourage you. We love you. God bless you. Now I move this little mouse thing over and I turn that off. And it's here, we're just gonna go like this. <laughs> <laughs>